Welcome to the Canon Get Started series. Before we begin, have your wireless network name and password prepared. This video will help you connect your printer to your computer wirelessly in three simple steps. First, we'll connect your printer to your wireless network. Next, we'll install your driver to your printer. And finally, we'll take it through a test print to make sure you're up and running. With the device switched on, navigate to the setup menu. Use the scroll wheel to cycle through the choices. Next, select your wireless LAN setup. Choose your wireless access point or wireless router from the list. In this example, we're choosing the Canon wireless network. Enter your wireless access point password. Use the scroll wheel to navigate the on-screen keyboard Push the middle AA1 button to cycle between uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. Once you've entered the wireless access point password, press N Setup. You'll notice a blue wireless light is flashing. This means it is trying to talk to the wireless access point. Once it goes solid blue, you know it's connected. And that's the first stage complete. Now we need to install the printer driver. If you have your CD, insert it now. If not, visit our website to download the proper driver. Double click the icon to unzip the driver. Now take a few moments to read the welcome screen and click next. Wait a few moments while the printer detection process takes place and click next. Select USA, Canada, Latin America as a place of residence and click Next. For this demo, we are installing the MP drivers only. Select other software as needed to install. Now the license agreement is displayed. To agree to the license, choose Yes. Click complete when the setup completion screen is displayed. Your printer driver installation is complete. The device should now be able to print wirelessly. To check this, we'll quickly take you through a test print. On your Mac, open up Text Edit from your Applications folder. Type Test Page into the document. Scroll down to Print to open up the Print Options menu. Ensure that your PixMap printer is selected and click print. In Windows, go to the start menu. In the search bar, search for notepad. Open up the notepad application from your start menu. After the blank document opens, type test page. Click file at the top of the screen. Scroll down to print and select print to open up the printer options menu. Ensure that your PIXMA printer is selected and click print. Now your test page should be printing. Now you can enjoy the freedom of printing wirelessly from anywhere in your home or office. In this video, we'll introduce you to the IJ scan utility. The IJ Scan Utility can be found in your list of programs or applications in a folder labeled Canon Utilities. On Windows PCs, the IJ Scan Utility is installed with the MP drivers when you first install the software for your printer. On Macs, you may see IJ Scan Utility, IJ Scan Utility 2, or IJ Scan Utility Lite depending on your model. When you open the IJ Scan Utility, first check to make sure the correct printer is selected. At the top of the window, you'll see the product name. 
This should show the series of the device you are using. For example, the TR8520 would say the TR8500 series. If you're connected over your wireless network, you'll see the word network at the end. Now, let's go over the buttons on the IJ Scan Utility and briefly describe their functions. You can click Photo to initiate a scan with settings suitable for photos, or click Document to sharpen text in a document or magazine for better readability. Choosing the Photo Scan option will save your scan as a JPEG by default. However, you can choose to save your photo in TIFF or PNG format. Scanning using the Document option will save your file as a PDF. Auto Scan will automatically determine if you're scanning a photo or document and save the file accordingly. Click Custom to create advanced scan settings to scan according to your preference. Stitch will allow you to scan items that are larger than the platen and combine the images back into one image. You can scan items up to approximately twice as large as the platen glass. On newer models, there are additional buttons. The options available will vary by printer model. On the bottom of the window, you may find buttons for instructions and settings. Some models may not have the instructions button. When you choose settings, select the scan mode you'll be using from the left side of the screen and then choose the save in option. This will allow you to select what folder you'd like your scan to be saved in. If the folder you're looking for is not listed, choose add in the drop down box for additional options. In this section, you also have the option to change the scan resolution, name, whether to scan one or two sides of each document, and what application opens when the scan is complete. When you finish reviewing the settings, click OK. Clicking on one of the scan modes will initiate scanning. In this video, we'll show you how to properly load your original documents or photos into the scanner. If you're scanning a letter or legal size document, you may choose to use the Automatic Document Feeder, or ADF. It's important to note that not all multifunction printers have an ADF. If you're scanning more than one page, begin by removing any staples or paper clips. Fan out the pages to ensure they're not stuck together, then, neatly stack the documents on a flat surface to align the edges. Now, insert the top of the document face up into the ADF until a beep is heard. Then, adjust the document guides to the width of your document. The ADF is meant for plain paper documents only. If what you're scanning is not letter or legal size, a photograph for example, you may choose to use the glass. To do this, begin by opening the printer lid. Place your photo or document face down on the glass in the back left corner. Align the top of the document with the left side of the glass. Please take note that the machine cannot scan an area of one millimeter from the edges of the glass. Adjust your photo or document accordingly if you find part of your document is not being scanned. Once the photo or document is placed properly, close the lid. You're now ready to scan. In this video, we'll show you how to scan a document using the operation panel on your multifunction printer. Before we begin, make sure your printer is turned on and is connected to your computer over the network or with a USB cable. Also, please make sure that the drivers are installed for your printer. You can download the drivers by visiting usa.canon.com. Before we begin, it's important to let the scanner know where to send your photo or document. On some models, you may see an option that says Save Forward, while on others, you may see Select Save Location or Forward Scanned Data to PC. Follow the on-screen instructions to select the name of your computer. If you do not use your scanner wirelessly, select the option listed as Local USB. Some models may ask you to press the OK button to confirm. Lift up the cover, place your photo or document face down on the glass, aligned with the arrow in the back left corner. Make sure the top of the document is aligned with the left side of the glass. 
If you're using a scanner with an automatic document feeder, or ADF, you can load the paper into the ADF face up. You should hear a beep when the paper is loaded properly. Also, make sure to adjust the document guides to the width of your document. Press the black start button to scan in black and white, or the color start button to scan in color. You may see a confirmation screen after scanning. Follow any on-screen instructions. In this video, we'll show you how to scan from your PIXMA printer to a Windows computer. Begin by loading a photo or document on your scanner and making sure your scanner is powered on. On your Windows 10 PC, select All Apps from the Start menu. Then, choose Canon Utilities. Within this folder, you should see either IJ Scan Utility or MP Navigator listed. If IJ Scan Utility or MP Navigator are not displayed in the menu, click on the search bar at the bottom of the screen and search for IJ Scan Utility if you have a newer printer or MP Navigator if you have an older model. If these applications are not found, you may need to download the software. In this video, we'll show you how to scan using a Mac computer. Begin by making sure your scanner is powered on and load a photo or document onto the scanner. On your Mac, open Finder and go to the Applications folder. From the Applications folder, find Canning Utilities. Within the Canon Utilities folder, you should find either IJ Scan Utility, IJ Scan Utility 2, or IJ Scan Utility Lite, depending on the age of the scanner you're using. If these applications are not found, you may need to download the software. In this video, we'll show you how to scan a document using the IJ Scan Utility program on your Mac or Windows PC. Lift the cover and place your document face down on the glass. Make sure to align the document with the arrow in the back left corner. The top of the document should be aligned with the left side of the glass. If you're using a scanner with an automatic document feeder, or ADF, you can load the paper into the ADF face up. You should hear a beep when the paper is loaded properly. Also, make sure to adjust the document guides to the width of your document. Next, start the IJ Scan Utility program. It can be found in your list of programs or applications in a folder labeled Canon Utilities. Click the Settings button in the lower right-hand corner of the IJ Utility window. On the left-hand side of the Settings dialog box, select Document Scan. Then make sure the Data Format setting, located in the Save Settings section, is set to PDF Multiple Pages. This will allow you to scan multiple pages of a document into one file. Some scanners can be set to automatically scan both sides of a document loaded into the ADF. To enable this feature, select Document ADF Auto Duplex in the Select Source category. Verify that the save location is correct and then click OK. Click the PDF document icon to start scanning. You may see a confirmation screen after scanning. Follow any on-screen instructions. If you're using default settings, your scan will be saved as a PDF file in your Documents folder. In this video, we'll show you how to scan photos using IJ Scan Utility. First, make sure your scanner is powered on. Then, open the lid so you can see the glass. 
place your photo face down on the glass. Align the photo in the back left corner with the appropriate paper size marks. Please take note that the machine cannot scan an area of one millimeter from the edges of the glass. Adjust your photo accordingly if you find part of your photo is not being scanned. Close the lid. On your computer, open the IJ Scan Utility program. This can be found in the Canon Utilities folder located in your list of programs or applications. When IJ Scan Utility opens, click Settings and then choose Photo on the left side of the screen. Verify that the resolution is set at 300 dpi and the Save In setting shows the folder you'd like your scan to be saved in. Click OK. Click Photo to begin scanning. When scanning is complete, open the folder you chose to save the file to verify that the scan was successful.